Hi, I'm Seamless, and today is Saturday, which means it's time for a new FL Basics tutorial. This one is actually going to be about something that I probably should have talked about when I did the tutorial on the mixer, but I forgot. Not only did I forget, but certain aspects of it are actually completely new information for me because I had never really tried to look at it. Um, this is about all about the selected track in the mixer. This one that appears all the way at the end and doesn't appear to be routed to anything. This, this one is a pure utility uh, track, and what this does is... Um, any it's called a selected track because it any any track that you select will have audio routed through it So how useful is that when for example this thing doesn't output audio? Well, um, a big use for it is uh, To re use it to record stuff that you're, you have selected as opposed to doing what I usually do when I like say bass for example Where I put an Edison on every track that I individually want to record. I don't have to do that I can actually just open up one Edison and then use this to record what I have selected. So like I want to record track one. I have it selected, I have this selected. Engage recording, go. I have a recorded track. And I'll say now this is this is me doing bass resampling. So I wanna I wanna resample this bass. So I'm gonna put it in a new harmer. And then I'm gonna route this harmer. I already had a harmer. I'm gonna route this harmer into track number two. Let's go into that pattern. This, this tutorial is not really about resampling, but if you're curious as to what I'm doing, uh, check out how to base number nine in my channel, in my previous videos. Check that out and it should cover what you need to know. Mm, but the point of this is that I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something that I, I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanna do usually, which is, you know, resample some bases. Resampling. <laughs> So now, you know, I like, I, I'm okay with the sound, but like I wanted to do some post effects, which is not something that I normally do because um, if I do that, because what I would, I, would, I would try to do is I would try to have an Edison in one track and then put all my resample steps in that one track. But that means that if I wanted to have post effects, I'd have to have diff a, a different track for every single step. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Maybe I want some compression, you know. I mean, I do want compression. Just compress all the things. Sure. Okay. So that's, that's fine, right? So now, um, now I want to record this. I can select number two, like I did the first one, and then in my selected track, this this same medicine that I used to record the first insert is still viable. Good times. And then I could even again open up a third harmer for the second resample step. I'm gonna copy this root note and put it in a new pattern. And I can wrap this to another another insert. Now I'm still having I'm still having a new, a new insert for every step. It's not gonna change, but what is gonna change is that I only have one Edison for every step, which is still what, I, what which is what I wanted in the first place, which is what I was trying to strive for. I'm gonna do it the last time, high precision stuff. This is again the process that I covered in how to base nine. Nine a different uh unison type. This is all, you know, very experimental. <laughs> Good times, and then I, you know, I say I like that. I can again record this third step in the same Edison, and now th this is the final, the finalized sound that I have. And of course, all of that was done with one Edison, despite the fact that the all the sounds that I were doing were spread about, spread about in different mixer inserts, which is usually, you know, the, tr the traditional method of resampling is to have a sound and put a whole bunch of effects on it, which is not usually in one thing like for harmer to be doing it all at once is a very new concept and the other other useful thing that you can do with the selected tool the selected uh channel is to do uh live analysis so what i mean by that is the plugin wave candy in fl wave candy um is purely an analysis tool and what this does is it uh gives you a bunch of uh d visual options for uh the sounds so like uh, i could have the oscilloscope 
It's pretty standard. Okay, I could have the uh, spectrum, which is like a spectrograph. Cool for having a, a visual sort of, uh, you could you know, see the spectrum roll out to know where the sounds are falling. Just a meter, not very special. Also a vector graph, which is also not, you know, doing a super wonderful job because this isn't very stereo, but now we can see the effects of making a stereo. <laughs> yes, so I'll probably do a tutorial eventually about Wave Candy uh, in, in its own video, but the point of this is that um, with, when you have the selected channel engaged, you can apply this um, this analysis to every any individual track you look at. So like right now, I'm looking at track number three. Well, maybe I want like a track number two. We can see that that one's still mono. And then track number one. So we could have a single uh, instance of the analysis tool open, and then we're able to apply that to any number of inserts. And by any number, I mean 99, because that's how many there are. Um, that's pretty much it. This is a very sort of a short thing. It should have been part of the last of the actual mixer tutorial. I apologize for getting about that. Um, also, I want to point out that all the information I just said is actually directly from the manual. And in the manual, there's even a video link to the tutorial uh, that uh, Scott did, the FL Guru, in the ImageLine uh, YouTube channel, which I recommend you check that out because there's lots of useful little tidbits of information about how FL works and things like that. And, you know, even I learned things. Because, like I said, some of this never really occurred to me. Like, it never actually occurred to me to do, to have have an Edison in the selector channel and using that for my resampling. That's not something that I thought of. It was actually suggested by that video, and that's how I learned it. And now I'm using that content to repost on my own channel. Because I am a smart person. Anyway, um, don't forget that today, also being Saturday, means that I'm also doing my also live stream also at uh, 6 p.m. EST today, minus 5 GMT. And... Um, I think I'm going to make an electro track today. I think I want to start one because I want to make an electro, electro track and I figure do it live. Why not? Um, yeah. So I will see you there. It's at Justin TV slash scene Lazar. I'll have a link in the description. Yes. If you have any questions about anything I just said, let me know. I'll try to answer them. And as usual, have a nice day.